Hey guys, welcome back to another day. A very rainy day. This is what's currently going on outside my door. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm glad that I made this chili yesterday because it's actually exactly what I wanted. Uh, no muss, no fuss. So I have some chili that I made in the uh, Instant Pot yesterday and I'm gonna heat that up and have that with some Greek yogurt. And then I'm gonna do a salad with all kinds of stuff. So I have some baby spring mix, olives, some beautiful little cherry tomatoes, some pickled beets, a mini cucumber, some radicchio, pickled onions, uh, some corn nuts, and some wasabi peas. I actually have, this is pickled turmeric root, which I bought to try and I quite liked that. And then I'm going to have some of the skinny Latina cooking. Um, I know it says marinade and cooking sauce, but it's really nice as a dressing. And it's only 17 calories per tablespoon. I haven't worked out the point value for this. Oh, actually. Okay. Um, I think dressings, in order to be zero on core, they have to be fat free. So this isn't. But um, you take calories, fat, and fiber into consideration and about 50 calories is one point. So I think that I can have two, maybe three tablespoons of this and it will still be zero, but I'll, uh, I'll see about that. Now, the other thing that I did was I looked at, let me move this over a little bit. Oh, goodness. Okay, I was a little unorganized there, wasn't ready. All right, these I have, put them in by their serving size, which is 30 grams for the nutritional information listed. And I thought, let me just scroll down and see, you know, sort of how many, like where does it become zero? And on the wasabi peas, it becomes zero up to 15 of them, or, and I have the actual grammage. And then the corn nuts, I think it's like, 25 of them or something like that and again I'll, I'll I have the grams that I need to be hitting so I'll weigh them out but there's a certain amount of each of those which it will be zero and then the turmeric is zero pickled onions beets radicchio basically everything else on the table all of that is going to be zero so uh I think I think that I can have a certain measure of this dressing for zero as well. And then my chili is completely zero and the Greek yogurt is zero. So I am pretty sure that my entire lunch will be zero. And then I'm going to do this fruit salad that I said I was gonna do for the last two days. <laughs> so I already have pulled out everything that I wanted from the fridge. I've got it on the table. I'm going to definitely do that today. I keep putting it off. So, all right, let me uh, heat this up, make the salad. And then when I'm done with that, I will do the fruit salad. All right, so it is that time. I am going to do this fruit salad, dang it. <laughs> All right, I have blackberries, raspberries, muscadine grapes, strawberries, red kiwi. I haven't, uh, I haven't seen these before. Have you guys tried these? So this says it is a red kiwi, which to me looks like a gold kiwi with the red inside maybe. I don't know, we're gonna see. I have some pomegranate arils, blueberries, some canned pineapple because the fresh pineapple was 
uber expensive this week, and then some mandarins. So I'm going to get all this set up, and that'll be a great zero-point salad, fruit salad. Welcome back for dinner. Okay, so I changed my mind about what I was going to do. This is one of the uh, freezer meals that I had put up. And this is a, an Instant Pot spaghetti. And I used the same 99% um, lean ground turkey breast, the ones that I found on sale at Kroger. And then this has the Barilla whole grain linguine in there and peppers, onions, a can of the organic petite diced tomatoes, and some grape tomatoes. Like I just basically put the, I had about half of a container. And so I put all that in there and I ended up dividing this into four meals. So uh, I'm going to heat that up and then this is what I have left of the broccoli. So I'm going to steam that. I'm going to have Greek yogurt with the spaghetti. And that will be dinner.